so, why am I here? Well, I'll tell you why I'm here. I'm here to talk to and stand up for the people who have declared their support for Donald J. Trump, or they got found out, or they want to do it, but they're too intimidated. Because you know what happens when somebody in this country says, hey, I'm going to vote Republican, I'm going to vote Donald J. Trump? They get canceled, intimidated, marginalized, excluded, or even fired or boycotted. And you know what that means? In short, that adds up to being bullied. And now we're talking about something I know a hell of a lot about. Now you're in my wheelhouse, buddy. I may not be an expert in politics, but I am an expert about bullying. And bullying is when you seek to harm somebody, you, te you seek to intimidate, coerce, cause distress, fear, ri risk to their well-being. And it can be physical, verbal, relational, or cyberbullying. And it's always wrong. You said it, my friend. It is always wrong when you bully somebody. And that's what's going on. Now, let me tell you what the critics are going to say when they hear me talking about this. They're going to say, well, now, wait a minute. Come on. Isn't Trump a bully? And let me tell you why the answer to that question is no. Because to be a bully, there has to be an imbalance of power. And when there's not, it's just called a debate. And he's just better at it than anybody else. It's called debating. It's called arguing. It's just, it may even name calling, but it's not bullying unless there's an imbalance of power. And whoever he talks to, they've got a microphone, they got on their big boy pants, they got a stage, they got everything else. He's just better at it. And the same thing is true. When the Democrats or Harris call him fascist, Hitler, racist, misogynist, or a crook, is that bullying? Well, not really. It's ugly. But with the First Amendment, which we all want to keep, there's no imbalance of power, so it's not bullying. It's just like what he does. It may not be the best use of energy, but when you attack civilians, when you attack a, a citizen, and you use the power of the Internet, you use mob mentality, you incite people to gang up and cause boycotts, then it's beyond ugly. And that's what's happening in this country right now, and that's not okay. There is an imbalance of power there, and it's time that every one of us close ranks. We have to stop this now. It's time that we push back against cancel culture.